there's a, a four fundamentals in order to build a successful and uh, efficient automation framework. So the four fundamentals is like, it has to be modular, it has to be data-driven, it has to be event-driven, and it has to be rich logic. And I will elaborate on all four of them. Uh, one of the high efficiency of any software uh, or any effort within the software development lifecycle is the reusability. It's ability to build the modules, reusable modules throughout the application that you can leverage throughout the entire framework. For example, the travel portal. If I'm going to build a test procedure that's going to test book itinerary, for example, instead of recreate the same steps from A to Z all the time, I will just call this module into the procedural test routine that will perform certain action at the time, right? The same way the application requirement will be changing later on. I don't need to change it in every single procedure. I will update it only the particular module that will correspond to particular procedure across entire testing framework. Now, another aspect, it's a data driving. We would like to data drive our test procedure by parameterizing input and output values within the test procedure sort of if I equivalent to the variables in the programming. So we want to create sort of sponge, data sponge out of our testing routine, which will intake and output any set of data that we pass through. So if, for example, I'll take a login procedure, I will parameterize username and password by default, right? So because it may take different sets of username and password. And that will be the data driving of the test framework. Now, another, uh, another fundamental is event driving. Now, in order to, us to set up validation of our expected results from the testing framework, we need to set up validation points or checkpoints throughout our testing routine. Now, in order to, uh, to uh, outline where the validation point will be, it should be driven by events in our uh, business process. For example, if I'm uh, uh, creating login uh, testing routine, uh, I will set up at least two validation points based on the events within my login. And the one would be invoke application, invoke login, and trigger an event. I'm clicking on the URL, for example, to invoke the website which is gonna present login page, right? And another event will be submit uh, username and password, a login button, that uh, by clicking login button, system will trigger the event, which leads me to validation of welcome page successful appear. So through event driving in the test automation, we setting up the validation criteria. And the fourth very important uh, fundamental of test automation, it's a rich logic. Our ROI of test automation or efficiency will be driven by reusability. And uh, by creating the test uh, testing in general, and specifically test automation because it's a uh, higher effort and a more expensive effort for any organization, uh, we need to assure reusability and most importantly, efficiency, how we design our test artifacts, meaning my goal as test architect is to create lightweight framework where I can achieve uh, testing goals through lesser artifacts. So as an example, if I'm testing a login procedure and based on my business rules, my travel portal requires three user groups that needs to log in. It may be admin, it may be travel agent, it may be end user. So in order for me to efficiently test it, if I'll take a linear approach, I will create three login test cases that will test individually each user group. Now, as a test architect, it's a very expensive architecture this way because I need to invest man hours into creating this three artifacts and then maintaining them throughout the life cycle of the application because application uh, uh, requirement may uh, change. We add a new version. 
and I need to update and maintain three artifacts. So in order for me to optimize the framework as a test architect, I want to use reach logic approach to incorporate all three user groups into the one login artifact, into the one test case. So I achieve it through enriching logic through conditional statements in my test case. So I would create test case that will take the one procedure, but will be data-driven, parameterized username and password, and have a conditional statement based on what type of data common to the test procedure what user group it represents. And according to that, there will be conditional statement that will handle this user group. So those are the four main fundamentals that allows us to create flexible and cost-efficient uh, test automation framework. 